We're Eamon and Beck, and over the last two months, we've traveled across the UK in our tiny home on wheels. From the bustling city of London to the untouched nature of Wales, to the cliffs of Northern Ireland and the vast landscapes of Scotland, our time here has been incredible. And while we've learned to embrace the wind and the rain, knowing that the sun awaits us in France is reason enough to say goodbye to the UK, for now. Today we share the last week of van life in England with a trip to the Lake District, a football match, and our final days with our favorite third wheel, Adam. I thought it was kind of funny. Was it kind of funny or was it stupid? Well, I'm recording, so... <laughs> okay, okay, good. Hello everybody and welcome to the Lake District in England. We spent a few days in Scotland, Edinburgh. And we met up with some friends. Don't worry, Adam hasn't left us yet. He's still behind the lens. Hello. <laughs> He's working on his accents. We all are. <laughs> Let's get after it. Oh, uh, did we tell him that we're in the Lake District? Yep. Okay, <laughs> yep, that's all we needed. <laughs> I feel like this is just a little good insight into your relationship. Yeah. What's going on? What, what's well, it like? Well, we're just having a little conversation about um, a medium-sized purchase we're thinking about doing. What do you want, Eamon? We, we have a barbecue on its way to us, and now Eamon... Shout out to Ped Baker. Yeah, we're really excited about it, but Eamon needs an axe now to chop down the wood. It's not neat. I mean, we could get a barbecue and then just not use it. That's cool. See you guys? <laughs> Sometimes in the back of the van it gets a little chilly. Oh. <laughs> Just choose my favorite? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. How much joy is that bringing you? So much joy. Some tastes are a little more expensive. <laughs> Leaving the town of Keswick, which is really cute, had a very charming vibe to it, to head out to a trail called Cat Bells. Ready. David Goggins. Can't hurt me. Where'd you put it, babe? Adam wants to carry the axe. <laughs> we got you. For the shot. Go get it, bro. It's in the box. Good. I thought we were going to chop some stuff up when we get there. <laughs> What's the point of having an axe if you can't use it? True say, bro. Let's roll. <laughs> We're gonna do our best to run slash power hike this. Eamon always starts off really strong, so yeah. let's cut to 20 minutes from now when he's dead. Beck's coming. Where is Eamon? I don't know, I'm the one stuck with the ax. The reason maybe Eamon's taking a while is because he keeps stopping to use his new axe. I don't know if you can see him. But he's not really in this to race. Just a pretender. I didn't quite run the whole thing, but I made it to the summit. Woo! Woo! Third of the way yesterday. <laughs> oh, wow! Okay. It's all about just being better than you were yesterday. So now we're gonna try and get down the backside. Opposite yeah, way. that's always our favorite hikes, too, isn't it? When we don't have to go down the way we came up. 100%. Yep. <laughs> well, 
would it really be a hike in England if it didn't start pouring rain? I don't think so. <laughs> Alright, let's go find a place to sleep tonight. Got the axe. Thanks. <laughs> What do you guys think about a little run? Uh, we think that sounds amazing! Eamon? I don't do anything little anymore, bro. Explain. What do you mean? Goggins taught me you're only going 40%. Your biggest enemy, your biggest, the most important conversation you will ever have in your life is the one you have with yourself. I'll smash a 10 mile run if you'd like. <laughs> You're gonna blow up in the first mile? <laughs> Likely. So we boogied down here last night. What's the lake called? Windermere Lake. Windermere Lake. We got a really great spot. So we're gonna hang out here all day. I guess we're going for a run. Stand up paddleboard. We already we're had crack the paddle boards out. coffee, breakfast, and we all pooped. We did our little poop dance where we <laughs> leave one person in peace and stand outside, so it's perfect. Amy usually comes in at the end and cleans her up. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. This is one of your many jobs, bro. Yeah. You're like a Superman. <laughs> one of my many talents. Not all superheroes wear capes. It's gonna go maybe two and a half kilometers there, two and a half back. 5k. <laughs> my first 5k. Point five k Feeling strong. This is the most I've ever run. <sighs> Feeling exhausted. That was 2.5. That's halfway. <sighs> now we're headed back. <sighs> Come on, babe, bring up the rear. That second hill really killed me there. Not bad for your first 5K ever. I know, it's true, huh? Yeah. We've been quite a popular van the past 10 minutes. As soon as we got out of the water, we had like swarms of people coming over and checking out the van. Um, some future van lifers. One family with four daughters. They had two and then they had surprise twins, which is a bit of a surprise. Are you allowed to say that? What? I don't think I was like private information. Surprise. Well, they don't know who it is. I didn't show them. <laughs> <laughs> the daughters are gonna watch that in 20 years and be like, Mom, Dad, what the hell? Maroney team whipping up a dirty pasta salad. We're doing kind of like an Iron Man day today. So we've got our run in. I got my swim in. We don't have a bike, but we're gonna go for a paddle. So we're gonna grab our Nixie Thups, go for a rip around the lake. So I don't know what's going on, but it's still beautiful out here. So the last time we took out our paddle boards, our friends at Nixie heard us complaining about pumping them up. I don't personally mutton because I love exercise. <laughs> but Beck can sometimes be a bit of a complainer. So Nixie hooked us up with an electric pump. So we had an absolute pleasure of a time hanging out with Alex and Luke, but to be honest, the real winner of that entire experience was ordering this to their house. <laughs> we couldn't find nutritional yeast anywhere in all of the UK, so we took matters into our own hand. You don't even want to know what Eamon spent on that. He didn't tell me for three days. I'm not telling you either. <laughs> it's a kilo. <laughs> that should last a week.
for a rip, but... Some kind of uh, Iron Man? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> trying to get hydrated. We've loved our time here in the Lake District, but it's time to head south for an event this evening. We'll catch them there. Where are we going? I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, big event, big event. So big that Adam's brushing his teeth. Yeah, hey, uh, I was gonna say, the boy usually showers three times a day, but I guess this is his way of <laughs> making it work. <laughs> Quick work soccer match or football match and the score is 1-1 one, one. Um, Blackpool actually just scored on themselves which kind of sucks because they were pushing pretty hard I love I love seeing you do sport analysis it's my favorite <laughs> yeah. it doesn't quite flow <laughs> So I guess we shouldn't sleep here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, this this thing is real. Oh man. my god, look at this crowd. They're just flowing in. Wow. They must have heard their like Macclesfield's van is right here. Good morning. Me and my bro are having a little cuddle session. Yeah, that's nice. He's getting a taste of what the morning breath smells and feels like. That's oh, not man. nice. Yeah. <laughs> I actually just asked you, does it always smell like that? <laughs> The answer is yes. I sleep hard, dude. <laughs> is that why? I just torch calories all night. <laughs> and uh, why. Becca takes no days off. So <laughs> she woke up and just started doing dishes. So nice to have you here catching the real meat, Adam. She's getting after it, man. Does Amy not catch this kind of stuff? No. Just one last experience here in the uh, van. Becca's driving, and we found an extra spot for Amy. <laughs> What happened, bro? I don't know. Thai food's not sitting so well. <laughs> and we don't have time to wait, so Eamon's doing his thing back there. <laughs> whole new experience for you, eh, bro? Oh, uh, yeah. We were trying to keep it polite the whole 10 days of like, oh, if somebody needs to poop, everybody else leaves the van, and now, that's how uh, going now. Keep left. I'm sure I'll find this one you know, tomorrow, but for now, I'm Do you know how they always out. say it's easier to leave a place when it's a rainy day? <laughs> <laughs> Is it easier to leave if you're... I'm going to war back here. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
see you soon. Yeah, I'll see you soon. A couple months. Miss you already. It's great having you. Thanks for all the, the hard work you put into the vlog. <laughs> no problem. If you guys noticed the quality <laughs> was significantly decreased in the past few vlogs. I'm working on it. He is working on it. Yeah. Make sure you follow Muffin Man Sports. <laughs> Go craft those mines. It'd be cool if I got run over for the vlog though, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do something dramatic as you leave. See you, buddy. Bye, Adam. Oh, I'm feeling sad. I mean, he's fun and all, but damn, three people in a sprinter van? It was great, wasn't it great, it was buddy? It's great, it's great. Love, love seeing the kid. But freedom! <laughs> as much fun as that all was, we covered quite a bit of ground over the last seven to ten we days. We have been moving and shaking. So Eamon and I have come down to Brighton. We're gonna get some work done and have a couple of days of chill. Chill, 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 because the next, well, we're gonna to wanna to meet up on Saturday. It's too late for you. But then, we're heading south. New culture, new language, hopefully new temperature. <laughs> Thanks see you for Sunday. watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe. And we'll see you Sunday. And subscribe. See you Sunday. <laughs> Excited to check out Brighton. Me too. On the count of three, we're just gonna say subscribe and we'll see you Sunday. <laughs>